I'm I got it. So when do we start? I got that thing. Oh, you can yeah. allow me to record. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're okay. ready, yeah? Okay. Tunggu okay. okay. Um, selamat datang ke saya punya dapur. Dapur ini adalah sangat best. Sebab saya buat dalam pastikan. Kan? <laughs> it was like whatever. It's like, hmm, nak makan kuih. Okay, shall we start? Dah, I dah roll dah. Okay, I roll juga. Hello. Hi. Hi everybody. I am Honey. And I am Lisa. Yes, and you are at the Fried Chili Studio live. So if you have any comments or questions um, throughout the show, you just um, write it out and our producer Vinny would actually uh, answer them for you. Because yep. she's behind the camera. Say hi Hello. Vinny. Hi Vinny. Yeah. So uh, I'll give you a bit of a, of a background. So uh, about a year ago, we mm -hmm. did a Kueh project with Yayasan Hasana. So mm -hmm. Kueh project is KWIH, which mm -hmm. stands for? Kueh Warisan Ehsan Hari Depan. Yes. And that means? for the future. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. apa kita buat? We went around the whole of Malaysia, mm -hmm. pergi ke Perlis, Perak, Johor, mm -hmm. and we managed to meet all these makcik-makcik mm -hmm. and pujuk them to give all their family recipes, mm -hmm. their petuas. Mm -hmm. So, this is what we're going to give to you today. Mm -hmm. uh, all these good, good, easy recipes to make kuehs, the petuas, so that you two will fall in love with your kueh again. Mm -hmm. Right? That happened to us, didn't it? Yes. Mm. Before yeah. this, we've never made a single kueh. We just ate them and complained how good it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Shall we go to our first kueh of the day? Yes. Today, we're going to make kueh ketayam. Also known as kueh gulung or kueh dada. As the day. I'm sure you guys have seen this kueh. Everywhere. Around town, right? Yeah. Uh, and usually this kueh, kalau I makan kakada, I get a bit disappointed. Yeah. Sebab dia kering lah, mm. lepas tu macam tak ada feel mm. And then the kulit kering and then the inti macam manis kan. sangat ah, mm. Too sweet So the solution to all this is actually to make it yourself at home yeah. Because actually a lot of people think buat kuih ni susah Tapi mm. sebenarnya there's actually a lot of kuih that is actually quite senang Very senang mm. Okay, shall we get cracking Lisa? Alright, yes we shall So, alright, to make kuih uh, ketayap First you need to make the inti Which mm. is the the mother feeling for a lot of kuih from uh. the west coast okay. and you can make a whole big batch of this before uh, can? yep you can so uh, important ingredients are uh, 50 grams of gula melaka if you can't get gula melaka you can use gula nisan yep. right? 50 grams of those and then 2 teaspoons of sugars go in mm -hmm. and, and why do we need to put a, a bit of white sugar Lisa? white sugar gives it a gloss and just to balance out the all round sweetness of the thing, uh, of the yeah. gula melaka so always remember this uh, gula putih is to give sweetness gula melaka is depth yes. and flavor right. Right. and a bit of water of course yep. about 2 tablespoons kan? Yeah. 2 mm. tablespoons of water pandan mm. sangat penting yes right pandan because pandan is our vanilla of asia yeah almost every kuih we have learned from Perlis all the way down to Johor has pandan in it. So pandan is very important mm. ingredient. And not only as a flavour, right? Mm. It's also as colour. Yes, colour. Yeah. Which we'll get to you on that. Okay, so... Right. So all the gula melaka, the white sugar, the water and the pandan is in the pan now. So all you have to do is just dilute all the sugars on a medium-low heat. Once that's done, then honey is going to add the clapper and then we just kacau kacau kacau. So if you make a big batch of this kan, and then you masuk dalam peti ais, mm -hmm. how long can it um, you know, last in the peti ais? Well, in the fridge, can last a month if you do it properly. And in the freezer, can last up to six six months. Ha, yeah. Kan ke senang tu, you make a big batch and then whenever you feel like having ketayap, you just need to make the crepe aja. Mm -hmm. Sorted lah. Okay. So I think I can put the kelapa in now. Yep, you can. 70 grams or so, about 80 grams. Mm -hmm. Ini kan uh, ketayap, you will make about probably uh, 10. 10 to 12 ketayap. Cukup lah kan? Minum petang, mm -hmm. relax kawan. Okay. Oh, okay, we have a question. Straight away. Hello. Yes, yes question. Yes. Hello. Yes, question. <laughs> yes. Someone PM us. Uh, the question is about the coconut. Mm -hmm. mm. How do they get those coconut? Like, is there a tip for this? Alright. Uh, ideally, you want to get kelapa putih from the market but fresh every day. You can't buy today to make it tomorrow because yeah. coconut goes rancid very easily even though if you keep it in the fridge yeah. overnight. And also, if you're always wondering why your coconut, kalau you makan filling too, it is actually a bit dry, mm -hmm. is that sometimes 
kalau orang berniaga tu not 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 of course not a lot of people do this lah but sometimes what they do is dia orang perah santan tu keluar dulu masak kari hmm. and then they use the hampas to make the filling ah. so you know that I mean, is why the hmm. filling is dry so don't perah anything out just leave the coconut as it yes then you get it nice and juicy yep hmm. so use uh, buy kelapa putih okay because it doesn't have the shell brown bits in it okay if you get the two types, the putih one is just pure white. That's one. That's the one we use for filling and the one that you want to eat. Okay, the one with the brown shell bits are the type that you want to perah santan. Exactly. So, because after you squeeze out all the milk, you're gonna discard the fibers anyway. So if you talk to all the machi machi, they are very particular about their kelapa putih. They yes. will always either they parut themselves mm -hmm. or they will have their favorite grocer mm. kedai runcit. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, siap lah kalau you bagi dia kelapa ada bits of brown. Mesti kena marah. Oh. Hmm. One more question. Okay. So if I'm overseas and I can't find fresh coconut, what's my option? Well, uh, it is quite easy to find coconut. Uh, try from uh, getting it from Asian grocers, specifically Vietnamese or Thai grocers, especially Thai, because they use fresh coconut in their cooking as well. So you can get those from the grocers. If uh, some people ask, can we use a desiccated coconut? The answer is no, because desiccated co coconut is uh, High, uh, dehydrated, right? Dehydrated, mm. so there's no moisture in there, so it's, it won't give you that same feeling. Okay, I'm putting a bit of salt in now because ni dah dah, dah, dah siap dah ni. Mm -hmm. Because it's very important in kuih making, salt is actually a very important ingredient, right, Lisa? Yeah. yeah, when you use gula melaka, mm. okay, it brings out the lemakness of the gula melaka, yeah. which gives a depth of flavor to your inti. Yeah. Alright. Okay, okay, that's ready. I think that's ready. Now, right. now we just have to wait for it to cool down. A bit. Yeah, just let that cool down for a bit. Now we are going to make the crepe filling, which is the kulit. Okay. So to start off, the kulit, uh, we're going to use pandan leaves, fresh pandan leaves. You're going to need a blender. Right? Yeah. How many pandan leaves do you normally need to make, um, to, to make sure it's got a good colour and good flavour, Lisa? Uh, the ratio will be 5 pandan leaves to uh, 100 millilitres of water. So these are all washed and clean. So I'm just going to roughly like cut them in to the blender. It doesn't need to be the same size because it's all going to be blended up anyway. So, mm. please say this. hi to more viewers. Hello! Hello viewers! Hi, hi everybody! Welcome! I hope that this show will inspire you to make kuih at home. Yes, as yeah. it did to us. For yes. Us. Right, so five pandan leaves are in here. So this is about 100 ml of water. Alright. Then put the lid on. That's Once it. you see the blade moving and there's no big chunks of leaves in there, you're done. Alright, the next thing we need mm. to do is to strain off. Can you smell the pandan leaf? Yeah, I can smell the pandan leaf. Okay, don't forget to strain your pandan leaf. I have to admit that the first time I made ketayap, I actually forgot to do this. And I wondered why it was so grassy <laughs> and chewy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so actually making kuih is actually not that hard. You just have to um, just get comfortable with the ingredients. Yep. And in fact, actually making kataya is actually faster than making a cake, right? This oh one? yes, much faster. Mm. Cake requires mixing and wait yeah. for it to puff up. Don't and forget, have any questions? Yeah. Just uh, type it out in the comment. Yep. Vinny will be there to answer your queries. Right. This is the fibers that's left from the blender. So all you have to do is just squeeze everything up. Don't waste okay. it. Man. Don't waste it. The fibers you can discard or you can compost it. Right. Excuse Sweet. me, I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. Mm. So, okay, just to show you. It's nice and green. Okay, kalau you buat ketayap, uh, you will find that your ketayap will be this green colour. If you go to a shop and find that it's very green, mm -hmm. it's usually they put one or two drops of green colouring. Yeah, it's not yeah. wrong. They it's not just wrong want all, to yeah. make it a bit brighter. Mm. Nampak macam menarik sikit kan? Uh -uh. But if you want to like not use any food colouring, that's completely fine as well. Yes. Alright, so now you have the pandan juice here. Right? Lovely. So now I'm going to add in 120 grams of flour. Okay. Mm. So basically, uh, Lisa is making the batter now. Mm -hmm. mm. So this is 300 ml of santan. So you think about it as a Melayu crab lah kan? Ah uh ah, -uh, crab Melayu. Mm. Uh. Yeah, crab Melayu. <laughs> one egg, one fresh egg, crack that in. Okay. Yep. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay. Right. Now all you have to do is to whisk this up 
until there are no flour lumps left in there. Okay, I'm gonna help you guys move this out. Oh. Ta-da! Bye-bye, ke tie up. Okay, bye -bye. tie up gone. Alright. Mm, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah? Mm. Okay, I'll leave. Uh, oh, we have a question. Oh, oh, can I oh. make the batter in advance? Yes, you Actually, can. You, can. you can, you can. It will last nicely in the fridge up to three days. Mm. But ideally, if you want to be prepared in advance, make the batter and only cook it when you want to serve it or eat it. Don't make the ketayap nice and ready and keep it in the fridge overnight because it will not taste nice. Uh, uh, so best. always make it fresh. Yeah. Do we have other options if we don't have pandan? Uh, I think the worst case scenario is you can use a little bit of green colouring and use pandan essence for flavouring. Yes. That's so worst case it. scenario. So mix it with water? No. Uh, santan. Um, you just put a little bit mm, in. Yeah. The pandan essence is very potent. So be, be very, don't be generous with it. Try add bit by bit. So once you get the aroma, that's it, stop. Because when you cook, the smell will become stronger. Alright, now... Actually, uh, I mean like coconut filling, right? I mean, what other kuehs can we make with this coconut filling, Lisa? Oh, lot. Boom. Ah, kuih kochi. Kuih mm. uh, Sopang. Wah, wow, sopang is actually a Negeri Milan kuih. Coconut filling? Hmm. Yeah. Makes the world go round. One okay. question. Okay. The consistency of... Ah, alright. Good. Good question. Alright. I've mixed it all up. Okay, there's no lumps left. If there's lumps left and you can't get rid of it, just pour it through a sieve and press out all the lumps. Okay, it will be fine. Mm. Okay, so the consistency is really like thin pancake batter. Yeah, so it's, it's thinner than a pancake batter, yeah. I would say. Yeah, it's like a crepe batter. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, so it's just like that. So at this stage is where you add the coloring if you want to. Yeah, just add a drop or two will be enough. Okay, you don't want it eclectic green. It'd be nice and green. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have you, have you have you come across Kataya that's different colour like a pink one or something? Oh no, I haven't. I hope I don't. <laughs> I hope I don't. Right. Because I think uh the, the, the main the major flavour of a kataya is actually the pandan mm -hmm. crab and the the cool, uh, the filling. Yeah. Right? That right. is a that is a, a quintessential kataya really. Yep. Mm. Right. Do we know where the name comes from, Lisa? I have no idea. Is it Kitaya? It's like what men wear to go to the masjid, like a kopia. <laughs> Another name for a kopia. I don't know. I've had this kuih for many years. I never knew it was called Kitaya. The whole time I just, when mm. I heard the name Kitaya, it just sounds like katak to me. So mm. Maybe mm. they come back from the masjid, then they take their kopia out, then they put some kuih in it and bring it home. Uh -uh. <laughs> Kuih dalam ketaya, jadi kuih ketaya. You know, like we, there's always this weird oh, yeah. as, a name association, kan? Ngah kuih kuih melayu kita ni. Yep. All right. Now we're gonna cook the batter. Okay. okay so right. just a little bit of oil spread around. Yep. Right. Yeah. You just pour a little bit of oil. A non-stick pan and, is yeah. it important, Isa? Yeah. Hmm. You best to use a non-stick pan. If you use a non-stick pan, you're gonna have a really hard time. So try again a non-stick pan and use a paper towel just to like dab off the excess oil. You don't need, it doesn't need to be completely oily, just a little bit to get it going, hmm. right? So I feel like that is a bit hot. Okay, so anybody that just come in, hello, welcome. Hi. How exciting. Right, so one ladle and oh. swirl your pan. It helps if you swirl your body a bit. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> swirl your pan so you can spread the batter into a nice circle. Mm. If it's yeah. not a nice circle, it's okay. It's all going to be folded up, all tucked in and you can't see the uh, imperfections. Yeah. Alright, so we are only going to cook this crepe one side. We're not going to flip it over because it's not necessary. Yeah. So it's because it's really really thin, right? Yeah, it's yeah. really thin. Yeah. And uh, how to tell if it's cooked? One, the sides, the edges will curl up slightly. Mm. And two, the top will set. So, what you need to stand by next okay. is a nice plate. Yeah. You know, put it there. So you yeah. can see. Yeah. Right. Uh, the heat. Medium low, high. Medium low. I'll say medium low. The first few pieces, yeah. biasanya tak jadi. This is a sacrificial pancake, sacrificial yeah. ketayok. So the first few ones, yeah. you can makan. Okay, give it to the kids or whatever. Um, as you can see, if you can, the camera can take a look at this. See, the edges are starting to crinkle up. That is an indication to say that it's cooked. Alright, so no flipping. We're just going to do a quick... Magic! Okay. Oh, do it. If it moves, it's done. Okay? Actually, you so can just slip it on. Oh, yeah, guys. Just slide it on. Yay! 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 You know, in a 
never gets old. Yeah. We've done Kitayap so many times. Every time this happens, we're still excited, kan? Right. So if you can see, wait. Before I talk about that, let me just put on another one. Ah, so, ah, ah. honey, you can show it to them. Yes. So, uh, this side is what if you if you look at this is what I think is called kuih dada, because on this side is actually it almost looks a little bit like a little pandan omelet, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. Oh, sorry, I think kind of. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, wait, let me make another one, then I'll come and explain So we need to just cool this down a little bit before we fold it up. Okay. Right? Oh, actually we can fold it up already, right? Can, if your fingers are like asbestos. Ah. Oh, How much filling, Lisa? I'll say... This is really juicy, see? Uh, this is what you want your coconut filling to be. Yeah. Nice and juicy. And of course, if you put it in the fridge or even if you freeze it, mm. you just, just heat it up first. Mm. Now. Oh. Okay, right. How much do we need? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's our own way. Of course, of course, uh, you probably want to double the filling if you want to put more filling in and want to make more ketayap lah. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. And so, it's really easy. Mm -hmm. It's just like making popia. Yep. So, roll it over. Ta-da. Right. Tuck it in. Then, uh, lipat at the side like this. Yeah, that's why it doesn't matter if you can't get perfect circle because it's not going to be lipat Ooh, anyway. Don't come Ta-da! That's a ketaya. Ketaya! Ani, the ketaya are montel. Montel! <laughs> oh my god, that's so fat. That is so fat. <laughs> right, that is one ketaya done. Ta-da! Right. Ta-da! Yeah, that's an extra bit. I'm gonna try it. Yes, Vinny, you can have that. It's In fact, it has Vinny's name on it. Right, let me just quickly check. Okay, so uh, I guess I guess the tip you can give people if it sticks a little bit, then you just... Yeah, if mm. it's not slidey like this, and you are like unsure how to take it off, you can do a quick whoop! Yay! <laughs> That's so impressive. Right. I'm so impressed. Do you the, have to leave it cold before you put in the filling? You don't have it to. It depends to how. Yeah, it depends on how comfortable mm. you are with it. But sometimes if it's too hot, then it will start to tear. It tears a bit easier. And if yeah. it's too hot, yeah. it will crisp up, which will make it tear easier. Yeah. yeah. So, when you flip it out, this is the bottom bit that was touching the pan. So this has to be the outside. So you need to flip it over. Yeah. If you slide it out, you don't need to flip it over. Okay, Lisa, you can do this one. Okay, I need to do this. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll do this one again. Do that, do that, do that. Actually, that's it, guys. Actually, yeah. this is uh, uh, this is how you make ketaya. I think it's, that's pretty simple, isn't it? Very. Okay, so um, I PM us now if you want a beautiful PDF copy of the recipe. PM us now and we'll send it right to you straight mm -hmm. away into your uh, Facebook mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, join us as well because we have a Facebook group called the Kuwait Club. Yeah. So this will be uh, this video after the live session will be housed on the Kuwait Club, mm -hmm. and we can gossip there more about Kuwait mm -hmm. Mui. You have any further questions? Mm -hmm. You want to get to know some of the matches? Mm -hmm. uh, you want to you know just talk about your own passion or even quests that you want us. To make for you, yeah, to teach you, yeah? yeah. Just let us know. Or if you have some rare quiz or weird quiz oh. that you love that nobody knows about, please tell us as well because we would love to know about it. I, I think we have to kind of eat this now, Lisa, <laughs> because I think people need I to see us. Eat this. Wait, wait. Is there a knife? Uh, just carry it. Just carry it. Okay, just carry it. Ta da! Here you go. Oh, can cheers. we show to the camera a bit? Okay, cheers. There see, you go. There you go. So soft crepe that's not too tebal, nice moist feeling. This is what you want in a ketaya. So make it your own and never ever eat a mediocre ketaya again. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh my god. Hmm. Mm, I have to chew first. I feel I need to write a poem to this ketaya. So good. Oh ketaya, what aku nak merayap. Oh, okay, tayo, memberi aku sayap. Oh, there you go. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. This, you have to try this recipe. Yeah. Every single time we will have this <sighs> reaction. It is so Exactly. Good. And see you next week because we will be making Som Som, mm. one of my favorite quiz. Bye. Bye. I want to try. Oh. Mm, no, I'm going to